One thing that everybody has is a car, and that car needs an oil change from every three to 5,000 miles. Doing it at Walmart or Jiffy Lube or any of those quick change places can be an expensive proposition. I'm going to show you how to do it at home in your driveway with very few simple tools. These are the materials that I'll be using today to change the oil in this car. This is the jack. Um, I like this kind. It's easy to use, but you can use the jack that came with the car. There's no problem with that. A pair of jack stands. I do recommend these because you'll be up underneath the car and you want to make sure that it doesn't fall on you. These are cheap. You can get them for about $20 a pair. A uh, couple of wrenches. This one, you can use this or a socket wrench or whatever to get the uh, oil drain plug out. This is an oil filter wrench. You probably won't need that unless uh, you've been taking it to Jiffy Lube or Walmart and they've really cranked that uh, baby on. Once you do it yourself, you won't need that. That wood uh, log there is a block for the wheels. An assortment of some old rags that you don't care if you ruin. A pan to drain the oil in. This is a uh, actually an old oil can with a adapter on it. Basically it's a funnel to, be, to uh, refill the car. Why buy a funnel if you can make one out of something? And then of course here's the oil that we're going to put, I'm going to put back in the Filter. car. This is the Fram extended guard. It has the grip on the top. If you use good oil, this says it's good for 7,000 miles. The car that I'll be changing the oil on today is this 1998 Suzuki Sidekick Sport. It's a nice car. It's got a four-cylinder in engine. About 87,000 miles. It's in pretty now, good shape. The trick is, you need to find the oil filter. Just happen to know that on this car, the oil filter is on this side, down there. See it? It's that white device. Look for a small can-looking device. First, make sure the car is on a fairly level surface. Use your block behind the back wheel. Make sure the parking brake is on and the car is in gear. Next, jack it up. Found the frame. Jack it up right under the frame. Oh, it's good. Bam. See that? Now it's being held up by the jack stand. That's good. To minimize the amount of times you have to get out and in, to minimize the number of times you need to get in and out from underneath the car, I like to take everything in all at once. I've got my oil pan, my rags, my two wrenches, and I'm also going to take this filter. First, locate the drain plug. It's usually a bolt off of something that looks like a pan. Here it is in this car. Loosen the bolt. The bolt was on fairly loose. That's good. You will get dirty. Expect it. Get a little oil on you. It's a manly thing. Chicks like it too. Okay, let her drain. There it goes. Don't lose this. You're going to need it. Is uh, adequately drained. Let's put the oil plug back in. You want to make sure you don't cross thread it. Put it in securely. Use your wrench to tighten it. Do not over tighten because that would be a bad thing. So I'm just going to put enough pressure to snug it up. Good enough. Now while you're under here, see if you can locate that oil filter. Uh, there it is. There you can kind of see it. There, yep, there it is. Okay, that happens to be right under over my uh, drain pan too, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Let's see. I think I had this done at a dealer last time. We'll see how tight. Normally, you should just be able to grab it and twist. Nope, well, like you'd expect, they crushed it. So we're gonna have to use the wrench to take it off. We'll work the uh, tool up underneath it. Oh yeah, and you just. Just move it, loose press, loosen the pressure, twist it. Okay, that's all I needed to use the wrench for. It's loose now. Now I can just unscrew it. Now this has oil in it. See? Yeah, it started leaking. That's from the oil filter. Be ready for that. It has, uh, just like it's supposed to, should have oil in it. 
Okay, unscrew it. Lower it through whatever hole you can find to maneuver yourself. You want to make sure that it's uh, clean when you put it back on. So I'm going to hit it with a rag. It's going to wipe off that surface. Be careful when you wipe it off so that you don't get more crud on it than you clean up. It's also possible. See? There, it's all nice and shiny. Here's the oil filter. You want to get some oil on your finger from the from the oil in a drip pan. There's this gasket around the top. Again, it's very hard to do. One-handed, ah, we're gonna do it. Prove that you could do it one-handed. Look, Mom, one hand. Put oil around this gasket. That'll allow it to seal. Yeah. Work the filter back up through whatever path you found before. Find the hole or the thing that it screws on. Oh, there it is. All right, and then gently screw it on. Do it in, um, you know. Be sure you don't cross thread that either. You, you'll know it will either go or, or it won't. Do you see it in there? Yep, there it is. Okay, now I'm just gonna hand tighten this until it's tight. Oh, this is what hand tightening is all about. If you've got to use a wrench to, to push it on any further, you're making a mistake. It has this nice grip surface to make it easy to make sure you don't over tighten it. Okay, now that's it. That's on. That's back on. That's it. We're done underneath the car. Ugh. Now we move back into the engine compartment. We'll fill it back up with oil now engine oil on it. Yours should say something similar. Probably will have yellow on it if it's a newer car. Insert your funnel so you have something to in which to pour the oil. Just fill it up. This car should easily hold five quarts. You can check your owner's manual for uh, precise information. You can see it. Don't overfill it. Let it catch up. Whoa, just about. Let this drain down in. You can see it going right in the engine. It's kind of cool. Now let's locate that dipstick that we talked about earlier. There it is. Pull it out. Remove all traces of the oil. It should really give this a, a couple minutes for all that oil to, to run down into the bottom of the crankcase. Push it in as far as you can. Pull it back out. Take a look at it. Now, you can can you see the where this is on it? There's a couple of holes, there's a hole here and some space. Now, because this dipstick has a problem, you can see it has a uh, cable tie right here. This prevents me from sticking it all the way in the hole. And that's about the exact same amount of distance I have from this fill mark. So, this car is full of oil. We're done. We'll check it again in a few days, make sure that it's still full and that's cool take your funnel back out put it away now i like to take my oil back to walmart it's a good place to go they'll let you recycle up to five gallons at a time which is a lot of oil okay, put that back in there dispose of it someplace nice that's clean oil this is an old bottle i cut in half fits nicely into the top of this can then just pour it in how black that is. It's good. It means those impurities are not in the engine. Have it recycled. Put everything away. That's it. Oil change complete. Oh, you were Sorry. Okay, once completed, you should start the car, run it for five minutes, make sure that there are no leaks. Normally, if it is going to leak, it'll be around the oil filter or around 101. That. I'm Tony the Tool Man. Take care.